The First Call Clinic in Gambrels had been offering a rapid test for coronavirus made by a company that has FDA authorization. But this week, the state health department ordered the clinic to stop the testing. Its order said First Call Medical Care is performing tests for COVID-19 without the appropriate permission and permit approval by the state of Maryland. That the governor issued an executive order that allowed us to do exactly what we did. Dr. Ron Elfenbein runs the clinic. He told us the problem was a paperwork error and that every other state in the country would allow labs with the certification he has to process the rapid test. I've already accepted responsibility for that. It was a clerical oversight. I apologized for it. I said, I, I, and I, I, I filed the paper the next day that they made me aware of it. Elfenbein said the clinic processed about 300 of the rapid tests. The state's order does not address the question of retesting. On the one hand, they're flying tests in from, from South Korea at a cost of $9 million, which really makes no sense. And on the other hand, they're shutting, they're not allowing us to do the rapid tests when all we're trying to do is reach out to the community and provide a service to our community. Uh, so yes, I mean, it th- 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 makes zero sense and, and it's a perfectly legal and valid test and, and makes zero sense what they're doing. A spokesman for the health department, the state health department, did not answer our question about whether the department considers the rapid tests that were done by the clinic to be invalid. The clinic also performs a coronavirus test that takes longer to get results. Those specimens are sent out to a different lab. Reporting live tonight from the State Health Department, I'm Jane Miller, WBAL-TV 11 News.